Hello and welcome to Lee Square Gaming. My name is Lee Square. Welcome to the very first episode of the European Countryside. We are in France. And before we get to work here, I'll speed up the time momentarily. Let's give you a quick tour of machines here. Most of the stuff here was already here. I has a couple machines, which I'll note, note later. We have here the Pottinger uh, Boss Alpin 251 or 251. That's for our picking up of hay and whatnot, stuff on the ground. We have here the Brito K105 or K105. That's for our fertilizing and liming, which we'll lime later. This was not originally here. This is the Kiverlin I uh, Extract T4. This is our nice little sprayer here. I'll tell the story about that in a moment. For cultivating, we have the Amazon Senio 4000 Super. And for our plowing, we have the Agromas POV 5XL. I do have stones on, and I do have uh, 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 weeds on, so we got to keep up on that as well. I'll probably have to buy uh, buy a, uh, um, a stone bucket, which I have mods for, and to pick up all the stones, because I I don't want to be getting anything too much right now. These chickens, which you are hearing, were already here already, you know, originally with the map. You have 99 chickens and one rooster. Before we get to the other machines there. We have the Joskin Aquatrans 7300S with our large uh, um, greenhouse here. Which are, as you can see, growing tomatoes. Let's check them out on them really quick. There you go. See, they're still in the flower stage, so let's give them time. Clack. All right, we have over here now. We have the Ziegler Corn Chapin uh, 5R. Which I know it doesn't look dirty. I'll say in a moment. And we have the Nova 330 by Mesh. I had to get this harvester here because I originally had a different harvester here that came uh, with the map, which I got rid of because I got an older harvester. But I was like, oh, I need something for corn because we grow corn here. So. Seeing that conundrum here, I was like, well, I'll just get this then, so I don't have to get rid of this corn he header, because this corn header was already here. It was it was over there, inside of, inside the shed. So yeah, and everything but that looks dirty, because I made sure to look dirty. I just forgot to make that look dirty. Oops. But yeah, the world go around here. So I can get to the story. Oh, we forgot the Amazon uh, KG3001 uh, Super. That's obviously for seeding purposes. You know, over here, <laughs> the reason why I got the, the, the sprayer I have is the Iceria Pro Active, part of the Precision Mod uh, uh, mod slash DLC. The originally it was, I'll show you here. Do, 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 do. Originally had the Mega 1200L, <clears throat> which obviously is 1200 liters. I originally had that, but. I wanted to get this as well to go with it, so we have the front weight of the you know the tank, and we have more storage capacity. That still would have worked, no problem, right? Well, that would have been attached to to that properly in the front, and I couldn't do it through the back, so I had no other choice. I was either get rid of the front tank and just have the back end which I wasn't really a fan of because I wanted to make sure we use this or get a different sprayer and then get that now in hindsight uh, after setting this up I realized I need to get a front weight as well because it might be a little uh, uh, back heavy I don't think our wrench is going to be heavy enough but we'll see it does help if it's on reels already so that does alleviate some of the weight but yeah that's that and then here we have the Aceria Scout, so we can get our fields uh, plotted out. And then here we have our uh, our nice steel uh, uh, RE581 Plus uh, pressure washer. That's so we can you know get everything clean. But we'll be cleaning stuff later on because we have work to do. This is set to two days per month, so we have some time. I might decrease it down to one. I'm not sure. But here's our new uh, harvester that I bought here. Well, new is in quotes because it's quite old, really. 
This is our. This is my Vistula. This is our FMZ KZB3. And if I just maybe zoom in here for a moment, zooming in. I know. Look at that. Look. Look at this move magic here I'm doing for you guys. You can see the all the actual schematics they put in here too. Awesome job there. There, and we're back to normal. Here we have the uh, Vulture G135. This is a B130, 140, 145 horsepower, I believe. That's the max it can go. And this is the Class Arian 660, which is not 660 horsepower. This is, I believe, 205 or 210 horsepower. We'll be trying to stick with small machinery, if possible, for like tractors and stuff. But we will. We, I will allow medium tractors to pop in here if need be, if need be. Here we have the class. We have the uh, 900 weight, 1800, universal bucket, pallet fork, and then the uh, uh, the class FL 140 to go with both tractors because they are set for front loaders. And we open this real quick. Uh, we got one machine that's over here. <clears throat> the man, or excuse me, Mon, 880 PS. It was originally a uh, trailer that was here. That was kind of the same ideal, though. You could tow stuff or whatever, but it had the dolly. I didn't like that. I don't like dollies. So I got this in here anyway. I think it fits well. All right, left jabbering. Oh, we also have this. This was all already here. I will have to organize this eventually because we need our shed. I think if we pull in here a little bit, we should be okay to be able to edit some stuff. I hope. I hope. We will see. But anyway, we don't need this right now, though. We we'll need this door open. We we'll need this boy. <clears throat> we are growing four crops here. Lovely sound. Oh, gotta save. We are growing four crops here. There's our farm. Here's our, here are our four spots. We got barley, we have corn, we have wheat, and we have soybeans. Inter interestingly enough, the wheat's not ready, it's still growing. The barley's ready, the soybeans are ready, and the corn's ready. So that's that, that's quite interesting right there. Didn't expect that to happen. But we gotta get this up harvested. Drive her into gear, she's old. Take this out. I'm gonna put it right here because I'm gonna get the corn one going real quick. As you can tell already, we have course play going. Which I will be using. Let me speed this up here now. Wrong way. Gotta get to this boy. Also, here's a fun thing. I get out and I'm in I'm in my garage. So there's that. <laughs> Magic. I have powers. It's a very tight fit there. Turn. Let's go in first person view. If it's too loud, let me know and I will adjust settings on my end both in the game and, and in the recording software here. Uh, gotta get this corn. George, I think we got it. Please don't get stuck. I 
don't have to get the edge, not a problem. It's not a big field. I just want to get multiple things on at one time here. All right. This guy just, which has been running the entire time here, so you know. All right. Bring this up. In case you haven't noticed, I do have crop destruction off currently, because, well, I need to have it off. <laughs> but what I'm doing right here. Here's the inside view. Let me get this thing off of here. There. Here we go. Still going good. Alright. This will be a quick little time lapse here, so you don't have to see the whole thing here. Enjoy the time lapse, and I'll see you on the other side. That's two fields done so far. Again, I hope this isn't too loud for you guys. Right, let me turn this down a bit here. See if this is a bit better or not. It's a loud, loud machine. And not that, like, going in, quote unquote, inside helps. This is an open cab. Alright, yeah, we're gonna empty this out for the final time here. I, uh, I need to get another trailer, a small one. As you can see, this doesn't have a very much clearance height. <laughs> not a problem. We'll 
bring it back out because it's, we still need it actually running. Turn off. We need some extra horsepower to get up this hill here. It struggles. But, oop, there we go. We got to get the soybeans done still. Get these guys figured out here. We'll be doing contracts as well because we need to make more money so we can get more fields and that whole spiel. I should keep running on the road here and not driving like a maniac. We'll go through this front entrance over here. Turn. Oof, tight. how we get in. <laughs> it's the only way really. It's, it's so tight here. Just gotta get a little bit closer. There we go. Turn her off. Go here. Dumped a little bit that that was. Can't have a sit. And we're past the buyer entrance. There we go. Bring on down here. Hit that button. Nice and parked here. I almost parked differently, but this is how I'm parking it. Oh, don't want to hit the bin. Definitely don't want to hit the bin. There we go, she's parked. How much horsepower does that plow need? Let's see here. It's this one. 160. We got to keep it on this. This is this is going to be our work hard, work horse sort of majority of things here. Actually, let me teleport up here. Let me see here. We got weeds growing, eh? We'll scan it. Get this machine turned off. There we go. This, oh, why'd you dump right? Okay. Now we got soybeans. All right, this will be another quick time lapse here to get this one done, and then we'll be done with three of our four fields. And then, believe it or not, we'll be calling it a day there. So, as I run this here, I do hope you enjoyed this quick uh, intro video, the quick little small episode here this is. If you liked it, do hit the, the, the like button on the video, that'd be great to uh, appreciate it. And if you want to catch more videos, 
including more in this series, hit that lovely subscribe button. Oh, why'd you go there? They also be greatly appreciated as well. That way, you, you, you also you'll find out along with the hit of that notification bell where the next episode is available. I will be getting to a bit more of a regular recording schedule here. Not sure what days exactly. I'm still working that part out. But stay tuned for more videos. Also, get more ATS coming. I have to record that still. Keep an eye out for that. That being said, go back in this time lapse here. And I'm Lee Square. This was Lee Square Gaming. This is episode one of the European countryside. Stay safe, be well, enjoy the time lapse, and have a wonderful day.